Okay class, today we're in section 2.6, write ratios and proportions. Section 2.6, write ratios and proportions. Before, you solve equations involving division. Now you will find ratios and write and solve proportions. Key vocabulary, ratio, proportion, simplest form. Throughout this book, you have been using rates such as 50 miles per hour. A rate is a special type of ratio. Key concept, ratios. A ratio uses division to compare two quantities. You can write the ratio of two quantities, A and B, where B is not equal to zero in three ways. A to B, A to B, A to B. Each ratio is read the ratio of A to B. Ratios should be written in simplest form. Example 1. Write a ratio. Volleyball. A volleyball team plays 14 home matches and 10 away matches. A. Find the ratio of home matches to away matches. B. Find the ratio of home matches to all matches. Solution. A. Home matches, 14, to away matches, 10. And then you're going to put it in simplest form. You got 14 and 10. What number is it that can go into both 10 and 14 evenly? The highest number. In this case, it's going to be 2. 2 goes into 14, 7. 2 goes into uh, 10, 5. B. Find the ratio of home matches to all matches. Home matches would be 14. All matches would be 14 plus 10. That would be the home matches plus the away matches. So your ratio is going to end up being 14 to 24. Now what number is it, is it that can go into both 14 and 24? We're going to use 2 again. 2 goes into 14, 7. 2 goes into 24, 12. And once again, the ratio is written in simplest form. Proportions. A proportion is an equation that states that two ratios are equivalent. The general form of a proportion is given below. A to B is equal to C to D, where B cannot be zero and D cannot be zero. If one of the numbers in a proportion is unknown, you can solve the proportion to find the unknown number. To solve a proportion, with a variable in the uh, numerator, you can use the same methods you use to solve equations. To solve a proportion with a variable in the numerator, you can use the same methods you use to solve an equation. Example 2. Solve a proportion. Solve the proportion 11 divided by 6 is equal to x divided by 30. Solve the proportion 11 over 6 is equal to x over 30. Step 1. Write the original proportion. Step 2. Multiply each side by 30. Remember your variable is on this side and you're saying x divided by 30. What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So therefore we multiply both sides by 30. Okay. After multiplying both sides by 30 we're going to simplify. 30 times 11 is 330. Remember, what number is up on this 30 that you don't see? That's right, that's going to be a 1. So 1 times 6 is 6. On this side, we got 30 over 1. 30 over 1. 30 divided by 30 is 1. That's one way of doing it. Because you got a 30 on top and a 30 on the bottom. So 30 divided by 30 is 1. So these 30s will cancel out. Gone, gone. What are you left with? X. Now for those of us who can't see that, and uh, you can't do it mentally, so you do it um, by showing your steps. 30 times X over 30. All right, there's a 1 there. 30 times X is 30X. And 1 times 30 is 30. 30 divided by 30 is 1, so 
you're left with 1x. And that's how we end up with x right there. All right. Once again, mentally, you would say 30 over 30 that way. And you're left with just x. Or you can go the long way. Now, once you do that, you end up with x is equal to 330 over 6. Now, 330 divided by 6 would give you 55. So, x is equal to 55. Example 3. Solve a multi-step problem. Elevators. The elevator that takes passengers from the lobby of the John Hancock Center in Chicago to the observation level travels 150 feet in 5 seconds. The observation level is located on the 94th floor at 1029 feet above the ground. Find the time it takes the elevator to travel from the lobby to the observation level. Solution. Step 1. Write a proportion involving two ratios that compare the amount of time the elevator has ascended with the distance traveled. Send it means that it's going up. So based on the information we have in the problem, we're going to write 5 is to 150, the same as x is to 1,029 feet. 5 is to 150, the same as x is to 129 feet. Step 2, solve the proportion. Once again, 5 is to 150, or 5 divided by 150, is equal to x divided by 1,000. 29. We want to get the x by itself. So to do that, we do the opposite of division. Multiply each side by 1029. So on this side, we multiply by 1029. And on this side, we multiply by 1029. Once again, we're keeping the equation balanced. Now we already learned that this will cancel with this. So 1029 will cancel with 1029. So all you're left with is just 1x. 1029 divided by 1029 is equal to 1. So you're left with just 1x. On this side, we're going to say 1029 times 5. All right, 1029 times 5. And that should be 5145 divided by 150. Don't forget, up under that 1029 is a 1. So 1 times 150 is 150. We're going to simplify, and we can use the calculator. So we're going to end up x is equal to 5,145 divided by 150, which is 34.3. So x is equal to 34.3. The elevator travels from the lobby to the observation level in 34.3 seconds. All right, now, for those of us who may be a little bit lost, remember, in the original problem, 5 seconds and 150 feet. So, second to feet. Here, you didn't know the time or how many seconds to feet. So, once again, second to feet, seconds to feet. Check. You can use a table to check the reasonableness of your answer generate table as the amount of time increases by five seconds the distance travel increases by 150 feet so five seconds is 150 10 seconds is 300 15 seconds is 450 20 is 600 25 is 750 30 is 900 and 35 is 1050 the solution 34.3 seconds is slightly less than 35 seconds. And 1,029 feet is slightly less than 1,050 feet. So the solution is reasonable.